Hello everyone. Welcome to UNC virtual class. And today's lectures, I am going to discuss one of line clipping algorithms that sure Cyrus Beck line algorithm and topic of computer graphics. Okay. And previous lectures, I am already discuss one of line clipping algorithm that sure Cohen Sudal line line algorithm. So now the question arises: What are the problems? or what are the disadvantages occurs when the line to be clipping by using your cohen sutherland methods. So that we have used another concept that shows Cyrus Beck line algorithms. As we know in case of cohen sutherland line concept whenever the line to be clipping then the line to be present in between a given clipping window that to be compulsory and set like your rectangular box. But if the line clipping window that to be such other than the rectangular format in this case the cohen sutherland line algorithm concept that can be supported okay so that we have a huge another types of concept that's to be called as cyrus beck line algorithm by using that cyrus beck line algorithms here if the clipping window to be uh, viewing and the shape structure like your polygons that means the line clipping window that to be three edges or maybe that to be four edges or maybe five edges as shown that compulsory on the format of polygons. Here the Cyrus Beck line algorithms to be easily solved all over the line that to be present in between the given window and viewing that region lines on accuracy way. So that we have used the Cyrus Beck line concept. If we say in single word the Cyrus Beck line algorithm methods to be provides if the line to be clipping on the given regions which is to be present in between the clipping window and here the clipping window to be on different cell structures especially on polygon format that to be possible. Okay. So now the question arises how the line to be clipping in case of Cyrus Beck line methods. Here the Cyrus Beck to be provides to concept through which the line to be clipping an accuracy way in polygon windows clipping format. Okay. So, what are the two concept? The first concept is that sure dot product dot product and the second one is the parametric equation. Parametric equation. Okay. So, now the question arises what is parametric equations? As you know in very ways the line to be created by consisting two end coordinate points by default. Suppose here I take one line and the line to be draw by using the time that sure one second. Okay. And the two end coordinate points that to be represented one is P0 and the another one is the P1. Okay. When the line to be draw by using one second, in this case, the time to be varies on zeros and one s. That means here the time to be starting for drawing the line and initial position P0 at time 0 and that to be ends with the points that should P1 at time t equal to 1. Here P1 to be ends and time t equal to 1 and the P0 to be starting is Pixel points for draw the given line on initial position at time t equal to 0. So, when we have to draw this given lines, here the parametric equations to be provides the time to be lies in between your 0 and 1. Okay. Now, the question arises if the programmer to be required for calculating the intersection intermediate point in between your point P0 to P1, so how that to be calculated? Suppose we assume here is the points that show P, that show intermediate pixel points and that's time periods by default suppose that show half. That means point 0.5. So how that T points, that means the intermediate points to be calculated in case of parametric equations. So that if we have to solve by using your parametric equation, here the intermediate coordinate points T equal to half to be generated by using one formula that is your P of T that means the intermediate point of this given line P of T equal to P0 that means initial pixel point of this given lines 
where time equal to 0 then plus time of p1 minus p0 that means here we have to generate the time periods of the intermediate pixel points by using this given parametric equations okay again now the question arises if this given lines we have to um, draw in between your given polygon set structures so how the series back line algorithms to be solved this line clipping mechanisms that means how the series backs to be accessing all over the intermediate coordinate points in between the given clipping regions so that here we have to take one polygon structures that means as we know in case of series back lines if the line to be present in between your any types of polygon set pictures maybe the line to be present in between the given triangles maybe the lines to be present in between the clipping window which is to be looks like a rectangular box maybe the line to be present on a given clipping window that to be looks like your on more than three edges maybe on star shape if the line to be present in this type of polygon pictures more than three edges any type of object if that to be passes then it to be solved that means the inside line of the given region to be very easily calculated by using your series back line algorithms but that can be possible in case of cohen sutherland why because the cohen sutherland only clipping those lines which is to be present in between a rectangular shaped clipping window okay so if in this case i have to take one polygon shaped triangle pictures where this given line to be present so now the question arises how this triangle clipping window to be viewing all of the intermediate portion of this given lines that means how this uh, intermediate lines that to be view of in above the part of triangle window clipping pictures okay so how that to be possible as you know here that's your point v0 at a time t equal to 0 and the end coordinate pixel points that to be uh, represented as the pixel point p once that means here the time equal to 1 so now we have to require for the calculating the intersection point of this given edges and also intersection point of this given edges okay so how that to be possible here the series back line to be provides for assume one normal vector point why because it to be used two concept one is the dot product and another one is the parametric equations so that here the series back line to be provides for assuming one normal vector point which is to be outside point of the given lines that means here suppose i have to take in one normal vector points that sure in i okay that to be outside of the given lines okay that means here n i is the normal vectors normal vector okay normal vectors and i means number of edges number of edges that means here whenever we have to calculating the intersection point inside the given region of the object in this case first we have to check which edge we have to calculate it for the intersection point so here one edge is where we have to calculate the first intersection point so here i equal to 1 but when we have to calculate it, this edge is here i equal to value 2 similarly if the line to be present in between the given edges then here i equal to 3 so that i equal to number of edges that means here n i that means i equal to 1 okay now we have to assume another type of point value why because in case of dot product it to be requires two points one is the normal vector points and another one is the point edges value so that the point edges value to be taken in any place of this given edges suppose here i take the point edges point which is to be represented as p e i that means that sure point edges point edges value of i edge that means the first edge okay okay so now when we have to finding these two pixel points then we have to representing the given parametric equation by using your dot product methods 
So the dot product of this series big lines, that is your for finding the intermediate pixel points, that is your n i, that means normal vectors, that to be dot point width, p t, that means the point value of this given intermediate code, minus p e i, that means here is the point edges value. So, by using this two dot product, we have to generate the intermediate data value. So, how that to be possible, how the programmers to be known that this given dot product to be present inside the regions or maybe that to be outside of the regions or maybe that to be uh, equal to the given edges value. So, in this case, the series backline to be provides one protocols. If this given dot product value to be greater than 0, in this case, we will very well knew that the given uh, intermediate points we have to generate an outside of the given object. Okay, that means outside of the object. But if the given dot product value that to be less than 0, so here in this case, the intermediate pixel points to be generated in between your internally present of the line of given object. That means inside of the object the line to be present here we have to generate the intermediate pixel points. But if the dot product value is equal to 0 that means here we have to calculate the pixel points which is to be intersect with the given lines that means here. So intersection point intersection point and given above object okay so by using this rules we have to calculate the intermediate pixel points as here we have to require for the clipping the given lines as you know the clipping concept to be provides only we have to accept those portions which are to be present in between your given clipping window so as here that to be provides this is your clipping window so that in this case we have to generate the intersection value here. So, that means here the intersection pixel points that to be present in between your uh, given object. So, that here the condition is equal to 0. So, now to put the given conditions, if we have to put the given conditions, that means here ni into p of t minus p of ei equal to 0. Okay. So, now uh, putting the value of pt as here the pt value to be provided in case of parametric equations that is your p0 plus t then into p1 minus p0. So, here the equation becomes n i p of t that means here p of t means p of 0 plus t then p1 minus p0 ok. So, now to put the parametric equation value for finding the intermediate pixel points that is your pt. So, now the equation becomes that is your ni into p of t that means for the parametric equation value that is your p0 plus t of p1 minus p0 after that then the value is pei ok. So, equal to 0 as here the line to be present and the above part of edges. ok. So, now solve this expressions. So, here the equation becomes n i into p 0 plus t of p 1 minus t of p 0 then after that p e i then equal to 0 ok. Then after performing the then after performing the dot product here the equation becomes n i p 0 then plus n i t p 1 then minus n i t p 0 then minus n i p e i equal to 0. So, now the equation becomes that is your equal to now taking the uh, common value that is your n i. But here as it is required for finding the value of t. So, now to come now to common the given t value. So, common so common the timing value then the equation becomes t of 
N I P I P one sorry N I P one minus N I P zero then equal after that here we have to take the common value that's your N I then P of E I minus P zero okay as here it to be requires for finding the timing value so when the timing value we have to calculate it then the expressions to be becomes that sure n of i p of e i minus p 0 divided by that value n i p 1 minus n i p 0 okay suppose here we have to assuming this given value that sure denominator okay that means suppose here we have to assuming this to um, this value denominator value that's your d okay here the serous backline algorithm to be provides one methods one protocols if the given denominator value that to be greater than to zero that means here the point is leaving okay in between the given object but if the denominator points that to be less than to zero then it to be entering in between your point given object that means entering point okay similarly we have to calculate it all over the intermediate pixel points by using this methods that means here as we have assuming this first edges for finding the intermediate pixel points that's your resultant t1 equal to this given formula similarly the line also to be intersect on this given edges so again we have to calculate the time t2 when all of the timing quantum to be calculated by using this method format, then we have to check the given time quantum denominator value that to be living in nature or entering in nature. If the time that you are in living in nature, living in nature, then we have to take the highest value. That means we have to take the highest value. If the timing uh, periods of this all over the edges that to be provides living in natures that means here the timing pixel points to be access all of this multiple value then it to be only accesses the smallest value okay the smallest value that means suppose here that to be provides two pixel points for timing quantum calculation on intermediate positions one is t1 and another one is the t2 suppose here the t1 to be provides smallest in natures that means living in natures and also similarly the t2 to be provides living in natures living point so here we have to check which time quantum value that to be smallest and by using this timing quantum we have to calculated the intermediate of this given pixel points by putting this value on parametric equations similarly we have to check if the timing quantum of the value t1 and t2 that to be viewing natures on entering point on entering point so in this case on entering point so in this case we have to check which has contained the highest point value and by using that highest point value we have put in parametric equations and whatever the resultant outcomes to be provided by using this given timing quantum we have to calculate as the given intermediate coordinate points okay so for today's class that's all in next class i will view you how that serious backline algorithm to be implement in numerical methods by using one illustrations okay so for today's class that's all if any conflict or confuse in your mind then you can ask me with the help of comment box that's all thank you